Hello and welcome to this James Bike Guy where today we're getting a chance to take a look at the 2023 Trek FX2. Now this Trek FX bike is one of the most popular do-it-all sorts of bikes that are available on the market and we're getting a chance to see the 2023 version to see what it's all about. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, I suggest you stick around and let's check out this bike together. Trek FX2. Starting with this model, this is really Trek's do-it-all hybrid bike. Now by hybrid, I mean that this bike is going to combine some fit of a mountain bike with an upright handlebar and a nice position with some performance of a road bike with thinner 700c wheels that are still thick enough for gravel and some dirt, but also going to be way more efficient than, say, a mountain bike on pavement. The bike also mixes in things like an aluminum frame, comfortable geometry, and mounts to be able to carry racks and fenders to really make it a do-it-all bike. Now, hybrids are the most common bike that's out there, the most uh, popular style. And within hybrid bikes, you have three different flavors. You have this, which is in front of us, called a fitness or commuter hybrid, really in that middle position. And then in a more comfortable side of things, you have a comfort hybrid, which in Trek's lineup would be their Verve series. And if you're looking for something a little more adventurous, but still be able to ride around the cul-de-sac, they also make their dual sport bike, which has front suspension and a little more off-road style fit and design. Now, this bike in front of us being the FX means that it's that commuter hybrid, which means the alloy frame is going to come to this aluminum front fork. So the alloy rigid fork on the front is going to help keep the bike nice and light. It's also going to make it less maintenance than a front suspension bike and a bit more efficient but you'll also have mounts to be able to run your fenders all on the front end. It utilizes this through skew front axle, which makes it super easy to get the wheel in and out and still work with the disc brake. And then as we roll back, nice durable features on the frame, such as this threaded bottom bracket, which is super easy to service and has long service life, to the back, which will have space for racks and fenders. So you've got these two little eyelets down here. So child seats, regular racks, fenders, full coverage, that sort of thing is all going to fit. And one of the things I really like about this bike is it has a spot for a cafe lock. You see that bolt and that spot for a bolt as well. Those brazons mount a cafe lock that locks around the wheel. A pretty cool feature to see. Knowing that this bike is gonna be used as kind of a fitness commuter style bike, we have a bolt-on clamp for the seat post. Now, a lot of people might want those quick-release styles, and those are nice to have, but as an adult, it's unlikely you're adjusting the saddle height too often, and by having that require a tool, it's just one less likely thief to be able to take that saddle if you have it locked up outside of the grocery store or work, wherever you might be taking it. Now, when I said earlier that this kind of combines the fit of a mountain bike, that's because when we look here, the handlebars are relatively high, but not so high that you're too upright. So you've got a little bit of bend being bent over on, a little bit of bend to the front handlebar, but it's still a super comfortable position. And then the seat post is in line just behind the pedals. So a nice efficient position on this rig. The other thing that we talked about was that this has 700 C wheels. So a 700 C wheel, as you can see, is more of a road bike style wheel, which is going to allow nice and fast rolling. But then the tire that's mounted up onto this is going to be a 700 by 35 millimeter tire with clearance up to 38 millimeter wide tires. So plenty of clearance on this rig and to slow it down is going to be courtesy some hydraulic disc brakes. So you've got hydraulic disc brakes up here on the handlebar and then down at the wheel, you'll see these rush flat mount calipers. These are a two piston caliper that are slowing down on 160 millimeter rotors. And to shift the bike through its 18 speeds, it's gonna be through this thumb and trigger finger. So the thumb button will bring you to an easier gear, index finger brings you to a harder gear, and on the left side, you'll have two speeds. So you've got two on the left and then nine on the right, 
So for a total of 18 speeds, and this was a change for 2022, where this bike is mostly a carryover from that 2022 model, where it has the two by front drivetrain, so the two rings up front, and then out back, you've got the wide range nine speed setup. And the gear spread is an 11 to 36 tooth out back, and up front is a 4630. So that means we've got less than a one to one gear ratio. And then you've also got that 4611 to be able to get some pretty decent speed out of it. So all of that is shifted via some Shimano drivetrain components. Most specifically, we've got an Altus rear railer, Altus shifters, and then a Shimano Acera front derailleur. Also down by the crank set will be these flat Bontrager pedals. This pedal I like a lot because it works with a bunch of different varieties of shoes. So it's nice, flat, little bit of grips to it. It's a plastic pedal. Might be something in the future you could upgrade, but this works great with flat shoes. Also while we're in the back is the Duo Trap sensor mount. So this is a little sensor right there. Let's see if we can get it focus in. So that mount allows you to add in a speed and cadence sensor so you can see how fast you're going, how fast you're pedaling, and have that all connect to an app on your handlebar. Speaking of handlebars, when you go up to the FX2, you get an aluminum handlebar, which is a nice upgrade from the FX1. You have an aluminum stem to help save weight. And then out back, you've got a nice, comfortable Bontrager saddle mounted up on an aluminum 27 two millimeter seat post. So now that we've taken a look at all of these features and designs that are on this Trek FX2, I think it's time we find out what this bike weighs. The actual weight of the 2022 Trek FX2 in a size large comes in and weighs 26.66 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the 2023 Trek FX2. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about this bike? With it being virtually a full-on carryover from the 2022 model, go ahead and check out my review of that in the red color linked down in the description below. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button and join me for another bike review video in the future.